guys, gals, boys, girls, women, and children. Thanks for coming back to the channel. Uh, my name is Steven, uh, and this is Steven's Garage 216 here in Cleveland, Ohio. Um, today I've got a couple of combinations. This will be kind of like a combination video. I'm sure you'll be able to tell by the title because you clicked on it, right? Oh, real quick, uh, before I actually go any further, do me a favor, hit pause, go down below, give me a thumbs up, maybe hit the subscribe button. Um, but what I got here is we got a new idle air control motor that we're going to put on the throttle body and a throttle position sensor, but we're going to take the throttle body off the car in order to do this, and there's a couple reasons, like I said, this is going to be a combination video. So the transmission that we're running in our LS Swap Camaro um, is the 700R4, rebuilt, got a nice little shift kit in it it's been beefed up a little bit um, so 700 r4 we're gonna have right here I don't know if you can see this we've got a kick down cable TV cable TX cable whatever you want to call it lots of people got different things um, I've always heard and all I know is it's kick down cable why because when you mash the gas pedal to the floor pulls back on the throttle body, the carb, whatever you got it hooked up to, it pulls on that linkage and uh, it will drop the transmission down into a lower gear, uh, whether it be down just one or down two, uh, depending on your speed, but that cable is what makes your car automatically drop down to a gear or two to give you that launch, the torque, whatever, speed up on somebody on the highway, whatever you got going on. But that's what that cable does. So when it pulls on it, it allows a little more flow of a transmission fluid. It will downshift, all that. So uh, we're gonna pull the throttle body off because we need to find, we need to make something on the side of the throttle body that will actually, when you step on the gas, it pulls on that enough to make it kick down. So got a couple sensors to put on. Let's get it off. And what all I think. All I know you're going to need for this project is, and what you know, it, it's not labeled, but I'm pretty sure that's about a 25 uh, T, 25 torque bit screwdriver, and uh, I'm always losing tools. And somewhere I have a ratchet <laughs> with a 10 millimeter uh, deep well socket, and that will undo all three of the bolts of the uh, throttle body. Uh, let's get to it. I hope you hit that like button. We're gonna get something done today. Stop being an idiot Stop talking to me like that. I'm tired of it. You're about to get booted off the channel I'm gonna order some shocks for the hood and we won't need you anymore So you can talk nice or that'll be the end of that, right? No bullying. We don't bully nobody around here. So uh, let's get this throttle body off. We've got a We've got to find the ratchet. Let's get to it. All right, we've got our ratchet and like I said, 10 millimeter. Uh, we've got our throttle body cable off. I don't know if I got the right angle on that, but there's only three 10 millimeter nuts on here to take off. And uh, let me show you that. Oh, I already got one off. So, Here's our view, this is our throttle body. This is the TV TX kick down cable I was talking about. And here's your accelerator cable. And uh, you'll find this on here like this. Tilt it back, I'll show you when we put it back on how it comes off. So we've got one here, we've got one right there, and we've got one down below on the other side. Let's get those pulled off and then I can show you more from there. The two lower ones first only because it's, you got the top one to hold it on. Two, 
two. Oops, almost lost one. Three, and we've got our throttle body off that easy. You'll notice there's no gasket on the back. Um, in a way, there's a gasket. You've got this blue style type O-ring. Let's take a look at that real quick. All right, you can see on the back of the throttle body, it's pretty much, you kind of get an idea of where the smooth area is, but here's the intake, the opening of the intake. And this is kind of like the O-ring gasket I was talking about that's already on here. And uh, I know it doesn't look like it, but this, oh my goodness. I don't know how this stuff gets dirty when it's not even being moved or used or anything. But uh, this is a newer gasket. I went a little crazy with the paint, I understand, but. And like, here is our spot where our two new sensors are gonna go on. And what we're gonna do over here on this side is uh, right in this area here, probably a little more up and down, we're gonna work on making a lever like this lever here. Actually, if I could get this lever to break a loose somehow and uh, come down here, then I could, that would, this right here would be perfect for something for me to put the um, kick down cable on. Cause I still have the little clip that goes on that so if I can figure out a way to get this stuff right here in the middle loose get this arm to swing straight down that would be exactly what I need so when this goes this way it will pull on the cable which is how the cable works it has to be tugged on so so <clears throat> that's where we're at I want to figure out a way to get this arm loose from here. I think if I grind off this weld or whatever they have on here, I think if I grind that off, I can swing that down so I want it to be straight down. Let's get another look at it. So if I get that off, I can get that down. It would be pretty close to the top of that water pump spot there. So if I get that on there and get it to go straight down, then when I press on the gas and that opens it like so, it should do what I'm wanting it to do. All right, let's get to it. That's only one way to try. Thank God this isn't the only throttle body I have, so I do have a spare in case we break this one and it don't work out for us. Um, let's get to it. Here we go. All right, here's what I come up with so far. It's just sitting on there. But if you remember, this was swung all the way over here. It was this way. So I grinded it down and was able to pop it off. Actually, it was up here like this. So that's how it was sitting before we started. And then I grinded off, I grinded the center area there. And so we got it a little loose. Uh, just stick there for a second there we go and this is what I've got right now so if I can hold this just right what it looks like is as we go this way we're hitting right there at the top of that water pump and uh, we want to be able to We want to be able to get this sucker to go all the way like that. So I'm going to try a little more grinding. What I think we're going to do is I am going to grind that as close to this as I can. Let's take a look at the backside and see what's holding it. So it looks like it's riveted on there. So I'll watch from the backside where I grind it. But I'll get that pretty close and uh, we'll put it back on and uh, see where we're at. All right, so I did exactly what I said I was going to do. Uh, I did throw a little bit of a spot weld on there just to hold it and it seems very, very firm. So uh, it's okay to do that. And uh, I think you can see this. I did grind right across the bottom of that 
as close as I could without messing it up. So we're gonna put that on. There we go. What happens when we go full throttle? Ah, it does hit it a little bit. And it looks like if this was bolted down tight, it's gonna stick on that. So I think I can go a little further. I'm gonna do that, but I'm also gonna bring the grinder over here because there's some imperfections on the top of the top of this part of the water pump. So uh, we'll bring the grinder over and we'll just go over this back and forth a couple times, knock down a couple thousandths off that. It should be alright. Uh, we'll give that uh, we'll do the, both of those. We'll grind that just a little bit more there and run the grinder on the top of that real quick and then see if we get full throttle then. I'm not sure how well you can see this surface right here on top of the water pump, but from about halfway over this way towards the uh, throttle body, I mean the, uh, I'm sorry, yeah, towards the throttle body, I uh, grinded on that just a little bit. Not, not a whole bunch, but like there's some imperfections in the top of it. I basically just made it look nice and smooth and then went back to the grinder in the garage and took this down a little bit further and here we go with our test fit so put that on push it and oh look at that nothing nothing's touching we can get wide open throttle they're trying to gauge about how much uh, see I don't like that because what's gonna happen is we're gonna put our piece on here onto the uh, cable and that's actually still gonna hit that so I should actually just finish putting it all back together and get the piece on there and see what happens. I think that's going to be the big difference. Because uh, we just we need to make sure that it's not going to. We need to make sure that it's, the throttle isn't going to stick on the way back or something. It's still pretty close. That's about here. This is the piece that goes on the cable. This is just kind of I don't like it. And, oh, maybe not. I thought I was going to say it looks like that would slide right off there. Oh, it will. Eventually it would slide off there. So we got to come up with something else. All right, let's try. All right, well, I got it on and I came up with a plan. So you can see how the cable is going. I drilled a hole. Oops. I'm not even on there. I drill a hole there and then two hole oops two holes on the flat part here and then came through uh, but the first thing you got to do I'm, I'm kind of skipping a step you can see right there on the cable I have a black mark see the black mark with the marker so what that is you see there's some slack there so what that is, is the cable is in and I made a mark because every time I kept working on putting it through here I was losing my place so that helped make make a difference was putting a mark on the cable right there so I ran it through here went into the first hole came out the other side and wrapped it kind of a little cheesy right now but I needed to think of a way on how to knot it here 
or something so that it wouldn't just pull through there. But the end result is what matters. And that is when this is at wide open throttle, there is no more pull on that, no more give. So it's opening it up all the way like it's supposed to. So our throttle cable is set. Now we're going to move on to the sensors. Can't wait to get those sensors on. We're going to do that right now. Here we have an old idle air control motor. And here we've got a new one. Yay! So. All right, so we're going to get our idle air control motor on. You can see there's like a notch out here. But you can also see that there's a space difference between this nut hole and this nut hole, or bolt hole, or whatever. But I'm just going to put a little spit on my finger, lube up this O-ring. Work it back and forth until it's flush. And start driving our first bolt in or little whatever screw uh, a lot of people will get well half the people I should say uh, will get the screws backwards um, no matter what the throttle position sensor and the idle control control air motor both have torque 25 torque bit screws on them and the one that is like this and another one is like that, that has uh, like a washer type deal on it. The washer style is what is for your throttle position sensor, and this style is for the idle air control motor. Man, this is just too easy to get this in. Oh, just hand snug is good enough. Should be good enough. Now, you'll notice on, for the throttle position sensor, there's a flat side on this dowel rod here. You look for the flat side on your throttle position sensor, but you'll notice no matter what, it's only going to go on one way anyway, and that's it right there. Snug, hand tight, that's all you need. And that one right there is definitely going to be a pain in the butt to try and get to. We're going to get this sucker down hand tight as far as we can. And I can't work that, but I do have, I do have a little quarter inch style and we'll get that on with. So, and here we go, 25 on a quarter inch ratchet. <laughs> T25. Hand snug, that's it, that's all you need. And where is our wiring? Look, I still haven't put the yellow and gray wire on for the cooling, the t or the temperature sensor on the side of the head there. Ah, here we go. So let's run this down here. Sneak that behind the alternator and we will plug our alternator back in and plug in our idle air control motor. And last, I like it like that, nice and clean. I wish there was a way it was all Wi Fi or something, that would be great. Just hide it all. That doesn't look too bad. Well, well, that'll be it today. Um, so, got a few things done. I keep complaining about the wiring, still isn't done, but there's only one orange wire I gotta find on the harness. 
for my 12 volt constant. That's got to be done. Um, get the wires inside for the um, check engine light, a couple other ones, but for the most part, you know, tack signal is set up, uh, the accessory wire is set up. Got to get the, like I said, the full time 12 volt battery positives got to be hooked up. Uh, the uh, data for the OBD2, the power, ground, all that stuff's got to be ran in there and mount the OBD2 uh, connector. So, uh, ooh. So we've got our alternator on, belt, power steering is full. Started getting some transmission fluid in today. Uh, even though we're not able to crank it, I was at least getting some, getting some in there. Um, you seen what we did here on the side for the throttle and uh, again when that just pushes and there's plenty of space I was able to get that cleared up um, looks like I got about a quarter inch almost a quarter inch under there uh, of space between where we put our kick down cable uh, and the top of the water pump there but I think that's great not a problem as far as I'm concerned it's all hooked up here is our cold air intake out of there. Oh, look, we're dropping more stuff. Tighten our clamp down. And man, that is a beautiful sight that we got going on so far. So, uh, in the next video, I think uh, it'll be a combination of a couple of things, uh, sort of, sort of how like this one was. Uh, the combination being that we were able to get both sensors on. That's pretty pretty easy not a big deal nothing really to show there um, but now you see how I did it maybe you can improve on it um, maybe you don't think there needs to be any improvement I you know to each his own it's your car do how you want to do to it and I'm noticing how this clamp is crooked I don't like it Not that it matters, I'm sure it's going to come off probably five more times. <laughs> oh, now we're dropping the screwdriver. I'm done. That's, you know, obvious sign that that's the end of the day right there. So, um, oil is in. Um, in the next video, like I said, I think we're going to get some vacuum lines here ran off of the uh, throttle body. Uh, the two on the sides of the intake. Uh, figure out what we're going to do with those. I think I'd like to get a catch can on here. Um, at least get a PVC uh, tube on and stuff like that so uh, we'll get get some vacuum stuff done blocked off whatever the case may be um, oh you know what would be good is in the next video I think it would be good to get the starter on and then may and or maybe we'll see if we can get the heater core in I want to show you what I'm gonna do with the heater core because it comes out and aims right at the block and I don't want the hoses that when I, when I put them on there and clamp them down and try to move them that they're crimping and slowing down the flow of the water which is probably not that big of a deal but I it's not aesthetically pleasing to me I didn't like it so I'm gonna have to start that over fresh um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video I really do um, I also hope that uh, somewhere somewhere in here you uh, took the time to pause the video run right on down there to the bottom where it says subscribe thumbs up like comment ah! and uh, go from there and um, that's all it is for today uh, again be kind to one another be safe stay out of trouble and um, find something to fix or clean on your car who knows I'm sure there's something that you can figure out how to do on your own thanks have a good day